So great to be with you uh, today here um, at our first face-to-face -face and in-person sign day. I think the last one happened uh, more than a year ago. It was uh, still remote and uh, really a, a big, big welcome. And I'm excited to uh, spend the entire day here with you. I think we're going to have great interactions. A lot of people from the Cyan ecosystem are here today. So, uh, yeah, as, as Lothar mentioned, um, please also use this, this opportunity in the next uh, today to, uh, to interact with each other. Um, I also have a, a little story that happened to me this, this, this morning. So it's a bit more recent than uh, the Greek. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the Greek story, I was really, I was sitting in, in, in public transport and by coincidence there were really a couple of guys from a financial, big financial institution sitting next to me and uh, th they were responsible for security at this financial institution. It really happened to me this morning and they started to, um, um, they started to exchange quite some confidential information which uh, made me really think that uh, today's topic here is a very, very relevant topic, not only online, by the way, but also offline. I really didn't want to hear any more things from them because that might um, put me in a diffi difficult situation. So I created my little own isolation domain, right? <laughs> and uh, that, uh, I think, uh, as I said, like it just really remi reminded me how important it is, how we are treating information, what we are doing with, 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 with confidential information, and how, it is, how important it is to have an, the ability for secure communication on the web, but also, of course, uh, person to person. Today, we are probably going to talk more on the, on, the, uh, on the web dimension. As you have also seen, is uh, we have refreshed uh, a bit our, our image, right, and our, our presentation. So we do have a new Cyan logo. We do have a, um, a, a new introduction here to Cyan as well. And with that, maybe we can uh, just roll the video. We believe in a future where the exchange of information can be made trustworthy because safeguarding information exchange is key for a thriving society. Scion transforms the internet as we know it, continuously elevating the secure exchange of information. In a world of constant change, we too are evolving. We are open, trusted, connected, and curious, providing security, reliability, and performance. Together we create a safe, connected world, anytime, anywhere, and for anyone. Scion, elevating secure communication, Join us in shaping the future for a safe, connected world. I really hope you uh, like your, our new um, fresh image here that we have. I think it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's fitting very, very well with a sign and our core, core message. Um, let me just uh, go through a couple of points. Um, so first of all, as we see here today, um, Cyan is really a team sport. So there is not one single player or, the, or, or one single player in this ecosystem that can and will ma make Cyan even more successful. And today uh, we have here representation of all of these different uh, of all of these different players that are so important. And we as a Cyan Association, we are extremely thankful that uh, of, of your support. Now. Of course, it all started with research here at ETH, but there is still a very vibrant and uh, a very vibrant research community here at ETH that is continuously evolving and developing Cyan and the next generation uh, of Cyan. Then, of course, uh, we have uh, important rep players from ISPs to integrators, to vendors, to developers, to uh, people that create solutions with and around Cyan. And uh, we have more and more um, organizations that are joining us there, and we will see that as well today. And then last but not least, and also over the last one and a half years, we have seen a tremendous momentum there, is that we have more and more use cases, users, from um, <clears throat> implementations like the SSFN, which all of you, uh, all of us know, 
to end-user implementations where today you can use Cyan at, in your home. So, meaning that ultimately to be successful with the Cyan internet architecture, we as a Cyan ecosystem representing here, we all contribute and work together to make it a success. And I think this is going to be the, the, the core of a successful continuous rollout of Cyan into the, into the future. Now, apart from the, the, the very active ecosystem, of course, at the core of it, we have a, we have a cutting edge technology where Cyan is really ensuring as a new internet architecture, where Cyan is ensuring reliable and performant data transmission across the entire internet. And it has been tested with mission critical uh, applications today. Over, so we have now, as we all know, uh, we have now <coughs> a lot of experience on how Cyan is really working in a day-to-day -day operation that is reliable, that is re resilient, and of course, it brings, uh, uh, it brings a lot of security as well in, in, in these environments. Today, we also have already multiple implementations of science in various use cases. Um, Lothar mentioned a couple of them, and I think that uh, we will see a lot more use cases and a lot more implementations on the open source, but also in the commercial space in, uh, in the future. And then last but not least, and that's also um, why it's such a great place to be here today. We have an extremely vibrant uh, research and development community that is continuously evolving, develop, uh, it, it continuously evolving and developing new features, capabilities, and, um, and as well um, use cases for, for Cyan. So all that together is um, creating um, an extremely um, exciting environment based on a technology that is in today's world incredibly relevant. So, and we will learn a lot more today about how this is going to move forward and how are we moving forward together. <clears throat> now, um, on a, before I'm handing over, on a more personal note, I have had a great time with Sign over the last uh, year. And um, I'm going to move personally, I'm going to move to the next chapter in my life, the end of this year, but I'm very happy to be able to announce today that we're going to have a, a co-CEO set up starting at the Sion Association, starting 1st of January 2024. And my two colleagues that are already working together with me, that you probably most of you already met or know, uh, will take over. So we have Nicola, who has been a member of the Cyan Association and of the Cyan ecosystem for years and years. He is a, an insider, a Cyan insider. Um, and then on top of that, Lucius. Lucius has uh, more than 30 years of experience in, in the banking industry, in the finance industry, in senior, senior roles. And both of them will take over um, on, the, on the 1st of January 24. So with that, let me congratulate um, um, Lucius and Nico. Well, thank you, Marcel. Congratulations. So. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, <okay. laughs> and with that, over to you, Nico. Well, great. Thanks a lot, Marcel. I'm uh, very excited and very humbled to take on this uh, new role. Um, so as you probably know, as association, we have been now around for a year. So I wanted to let you know something about what has happened and where we are going next. So Marcel mentioned already how we have such a great technology. There is a big community as well around Cyan, but the question is, is that enough to really grow the, the movement to a global scale? And what we believe as an association is important is that we create a value loop between the technology and the ecosystem. So the technology needs to evolve over time so that we make it easier, we make it quicker for people to be on Cyan. We also want to develop new use cases so that we can expand it to new verticals, to new kinds of users. On the other hand, we want to create an ecosystem where everybody that is in there can actually benefit 
and can get great value by using Cyan, whether it's a user, whether it's a vendor, whether it is a developer or uh, an ISP. That is the ecosystem that we want to create. So as an association, we have been created uh, last year, thanks to the uh, visionary spirit of our founding members. And first of all, uh, what is really important for uh, such an ecosystem is that we create, uh, we make it open, we make it accessible, and we create a strong governance around the technology. And as we steer the technology, we have created some technical committees that together with the community take care of the future of the science open source and of the science specification. And on this, standardization is really, really important. We already have multiple implementations. We have uh, vendors, and we wish to see many more. And so whenever you have a, techno a communication technology like Cyan, it is very important that all the components know what are the technical rules they need to play by so that communication can happen successfully. On the other hand, if you're entering this ecosystem and want to build science services, you need this technical specification so that you can actually build new products and you can do it easily and with low barriers. And this is quite a long process. It takes sometimes years and many reviews, but that is also what makes the technology better. By doing standardization, you get inputs, you get reviews by experts in the field. And that's what I think will also make Cyan even better over time as we move on on this journey. Ultimately, having a clear specification is also of paramount importance to be able to start a certification program to make sure that the quality, the reliability of the Cyan network, of the ecosystem stay as high as we want. And so as an association, this has been quite important in our first year. That's why we created this technical committee for standardization. We have been working hand in hand with uh, our members to actually create an initial uh, draft specification. And in order to get the right level of recognition and review, we also decided to go to an internationally known standard development organization as the EITF. And to this, I'm very happy to announce that since a couple of weeks, we have a complete set of the science specification published in the form of internet draft. This is only the start of a process that takes some time. Oh, well, thank you. I'm <laughs> thank you. I'm very excited, but that's, that's not all. EITF is a long process, and that's why we're going to meet with many of you from the ecosystem in Prague in a couple of weeks to continue the work and making sure that this is not only a draft, but then it at some point gets to being an RFC. And to this, I'm incredibly grateful to our staff member, Corinne de Cutter. She has been really spending a lot of effort to, to chunk the 600 pages of science book into a clear and readable uh, specification. Specification is nothing without running code, and that's why open source is also very dear to us. And so we have a technical committee for specification. We also have our own resources that we invest in making sure that the open source is well maintained, that somebody can answer your questions, that it becomes uh, stable, reliable. And this is not only a way for anyone who wants to join the ecosystem to do it easily. It is also an additional vendor-neutral implementation that can also help all the pioneers that have already been investing in science. So to this, I'm also very grateful to my colleagues Matthias and JC, who have been doing work in that direction. They recently even published a new technical roadmap for the open source, so check our website if you want to know more. And if you want to know even more, then join the association and maybe take part in some of our committees. With this, I have the pleasure to hand over to my co-CEO, Lucius. Here to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm obviously equally thrilled to work together with uh, Nico in elevating Sign Association to the next level. But let me also use the opportunity to already thank the outgoing CEO, Marcel, for his huge contributions over the last year you can't underestimate the impact that he had. With that, I'm also wanting, I want to thank all the members of uh, 
the Sinai Association members who support the association because obviously we are a non-profit organization and we depend on the help and support of, of all the members. Especially, I'd like to thank the founding members, the Swiss National Bank, ETH Zurich, SIX, the Swiss Stock Exchange, and uh, Ueli Sik as a private individual. Without their vision and their trust, Sinai Association would never even have been created. As important as members are, obviously, we also need some people who actually do the work. And I'm happy to kind of uh, show you our small but stellar team. You've already met, obviously, Marcel, Nico, and myself. Corinne, who was instrumental in the setting up the whole standardization process. Katrina, who joined as the marketing and, and communication uh, responsible. And as you will see today, uh, one of her tasks was organizing this amazing event. Then finally, Matthias and, and Jean-Christophe, who basically are the software engineers who actually work on making the whole thing actually uh, happen. So, we would like to ask you to obviously join us. We have a few members, but I think uh, we never have enough members. By joining us, you can basically influence the future direction of Scion. You can create services and products uh, based on Scion. You can collaborate with all our technical committees and bring your insight and your experience uh, with you. And obviously, you can uh, differentiate yourself by using the Scion brand uh, in your daily work. With that, I would like to uh, invite you to uh, meet us at our booth outside with all questions you may have, and especially uh, going on the website to actually look at our website where you will find tons of uh, additional information. But the main thing of today is actually to interact with us, to stimulate your curiosity, to answer all your questions, and to come home with a, a new, fresh, uh, and, and energized vision of what Scion can do for you. With that, Olivia.